Hello everyone, this is Sikandar Hadar and you are watching Electrical Tutorials channel. In this tutorial you will learn about how to find out start run common in a single phase motor or how to identify the start run common in a single phase compressor or ceiling pan etc etc. Before I start the topic, I suggest you to please subscribe my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. So, why we need to find out start run common in a single phase motor? This is simple. If you don't know about the terminals or the connection, then how can you do the connection? For example, if you have a refrigerator compressor, so we need know that uh, every refrigerator compressor, in every single pass refrigerator compressor, we have three terminals. One is common, second is start, and third is run. And uh, if you don't know about the, which one is common, which one is start, which one is run, then how can you do the connection of ETC relay or current relay? How can you do the wiring connection? Or if you have a ceiling pan and you don't know about the start and common, then you can't connect the capacitor and you can't do the wiring connection. So this is very important to find out the start and common in a single phase motor. I know the three methods which is uh, very simple and easy the first one is too simple and fast method but uh, mostly it is not available to follow the diagram if the diagram is available follow the diagram and do the connection which shown in the diagram but if the diagram is not available the second method is to find out the start run common using a multimeter or ohm testing meter and in this tutorial I explain uh, this method practically and if you don't have the multimeter then you can also use the uh, series testing lamp but I don't suggest you to for use the series testing lamp however uh, in uh, next video tutorial I will explain how to find out start run common using a series testing lamp but in this tutorial I will explain only using the uh, multimeter using the uh, ohm testing meter so let's do it how to find out the start and common using a multimeter here i have a refrigerator compressor and i don't know about the terminals that which one is common which is one is start and run so we follow the simple formula so the resistance between the starting and running will be high and uh, the resistance between common and starting will be high than the resistance between starting and running so first we need to find out the starting and running and uh, if we find out the starting and running it means that the third one is common so i use a multimeter with ohm testing option so i select on diode testing or buzzer option and uh, first uh, I have three terminals so I named with the ABC so first I will test the resistance between A and B and it's shown 41 ohm A and B have 41 ohm resistance then I will check A and C and uh, sorry B and A and C is 15 ohm and then I will finally check the resistance between B and C which is 57 ohm So we find that the resistance between B and C is higher than other terminals. So we know that, that the B and C is start and run and the A is common. So we write here that A is common. No, the resistance between A and B 
is 41 ohm and the resistance between A and C is 15 ohm. So we write here that the common and starting resistance will be high than the common and running. So B is high resistance. It means that B is start. And C is running terminal. This is starting. This is running. So if we for the example of this compressor, we have three terminals in which this one is common, this one is starting and this one is running. In this tutorial, we find out that how to identify the starting, running and common in a single phase induction motor or in single phase compressor. Inshallah, in next video tutorial, we will talk about that why the resistance between starting and running is high and why the resistance between common and starting is high than the resistance between common and running. Goodbye.